Hey, it's Anna from The Last Stitch. Last year I made a video about my sewing goals for 2017. I had five goals and I was pretty psyched about trying to achieve them. And now, well, over half of 2017 has passed. Where did the time go? I have no idea. But I figured I should do some kind of half-time report and see how those goals are going. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe and also check out my blog where you can follow along a lot of the progress of these goals that I will talk about today. But now let's talk about goal number one. And goal number one for 2017 was a return to trouser making. Yes, I have a long story of trouser making. Usually it has been a pretty horrible experience. I have struggled with the fit, I've struggled with the assembly and all these things actually meant that in 2009 I sort of suffered a trouser making burnout which means that I took a long break and one of my goals for 2017 was to return to trouser making and also trying to really nail that elusive fit which was something I've struggled with from all my years of sewing. So let's take a look in how these things has gone. Well I have actually made two pair of trousers in 2017 this were the first pair, which is a pair of Berta style trousers from 2010. It's a kind of a straight leg, roomy, very comfortable pair of trousers. They are made of organic cotton twill. And I used a lot of different fitting methods trying this, this out. I primarily used the book Pants for Real People, which is a book I highly recommend if you're into trouser making and want to understand more about fit. Link will be below in the description section. And I would say that these trousers actually turn out really nice. I wear them a lot, they're super comfortable. As for the fit, well, I think they fit a lot better than any other trousers that I've made up until this pair. And well, I would actually label this a pretty much a success. So that, that really helped me boost my confidence. And I did these pair of trousers, I think about three months ago. And when I saw the end result and actually felt that I had a pair of trousers that I actually loved, then I felt more confident into tackling another pair of trousers, yes! So I have actually been making two pair of trousers this year. And the second pair of trousers, again it's a Boda style. And the reason why I am actually doing a lot of Boda style is because they have a pretty consistent draft. So I know what sort of modifications from the first pair, so I didn't have to like start from scratch. Anyways, these are a pair of cigarette trousers and I will say that this fit the best trousers that I've ever made when it comes to fit. I mean, some of the assembly could have been a bit better, but as for the fit, I say it's wonderful, at least for my my ambitions. These are the trousers, hands down, that fit me the best. So yeah, it was a long, arduous process. It was a lot of struggle, a lot of failed attempts, but I think now I'm at a point actually where I've made two trousers this year that actually fit me in a way that I want my trousers to fit. And I have talked extensively about the process for both of these trousers on my blog, so if you Check links below in the description section, we'll have a lot of links to the process and especially for these trousers I go into a lot of detailing and how I manage to achieve a good fit on the trousers, namely usually around the bum and that area which is my like biggest problem section when it comes to trousers. So I would say that goal number one, check, it's, I actually achieved it. So that's, that's, I feel very excited and that's why it's good to make a video like this because it feels like I've actually can see some progress. So it's nice setting goals and actually see that you can succeed with them. It's not always like that, but I'm very happy to say that, yes, I was successful with goal number one, a return to trouser making and getting better at improving fit. So now let's talk about goal number two. And goal number two was kind of a small goal, but something that again has been elusive for me to trying to achieve. And that is to attach a twill neckline band to, to knit garments because if you see a lot of high-end ready to wear they usually have a decorative band at the neckline to cover the neckline serge seam and that's beautiful detail and I think it really can elevate a simple garment like a knit garment. So I had tried several different methods and not quite been successful so I decided 2017 I will nail this method and well let's take a look on how that went. I have actually made a cardigan using this technique successfully. And I've tried different methods, as I said before, and this one is something I kind of came up with myself by studying a bit of a ready-to-wear and tried to apply this method using a regular sewing machine. And if you're curious on how I actually made this work, you can check out my blog again, <laughs> links in the description section. 
and you can see step-by-step -step guide on how to achieve this and the trick I will say is that you don't sew two rows of stitches instead you attach the band at in the seam allowance first by top stitching and then you just sew a second row of stitches to keep it in place so you can see it looks like it looks very neat I mean obviously if I do it again hopefully the result will look even better but at least I would say that I have again been successful with this goal so that was goal number two applying twill tape neckline to a knit top and now let's talk about goal number three and this is a massive goal but I think that in the end I will be very excited when I have actually finished it and what is that goal you may wonder well about a year ago I announced on my blog that I will make a book about sewing active it will be an ebook initially at least and it will be quite content rich and so it's taking me quite some time to actually finish it and I'm doing obviously a, this on the side of all the other things I'm doing so it will take some time but I will also make sure that it's a really good book with tons of useful info and it will cover all sorts of aspects several different tutorials on techniques that relates to active wear I mean everything to how different ideas on how to add pockets to sewing active wear waistband techniques how to do openings for thumbs several different versions how to add strings also I really want to do something that is valuable so I want to say hem you know I will share all my tips for instance on how to successfully hem with the cover stitch machine if you have one and of course I will also talk about different ways that you can achieve good hemming if you only have a sewing machine I will go in depth about stitches and seams and fabric choices and also what I'm really excited about they will also be featured several interviews with stylish sporty makers both pattern makers and hobby sewers so and other people in this business so that's what I'm very excited about and they will also share their tips about how to sew active wear fingers crossed it will be done in 2017 I will also make a separate video about this so I can show you more behind the scenes about the book and see if this is something you might be interested in. And this is goal number four. And you wonder, well, what is this? Well, this is the binder attachment for my Genome cover stitch machine. And this is how you create neckline binding and sleeve binding, all that stuff. So it's very valuable to have, but however, it's a beast to master. So to be honest, I have not yet done any projects using this in 2017. I will now in the full life set projects lined up and I've also talked to several people who knows a lot more about this than I do and they have shared the tips and also I've read up a lot on blogs and in Facebook groups so I do feel that I have more knowledge now than I had when I began using this last year so hopefully it will turn out better but again I will not yet try it so I will report back and see how that goes. And now for goal number five, which is tailoring, namely to make a tailor jacket. And in particular, I am thinking about making this Berta style jacket. It's a petite sizing, so it means less alteration for me. And what I'm hoping with this is that I should finally learn to master tailor detailing. I mean, basically getting beautiful fitted shoulders doing colors and labels that looks actually professional and not homemade, which is something I struggle with. Uh, as for this project, I have not actually done any progress whatsoever. I might take a class. I was actually directed to a craftsy class. I think, let me see if the name is Alison. There will be a link below here that was actually recommended when it comes to learning tailoring jacket. I will, I will link below to see exactly what the class is, but it is on craftsy. And another option I'm also considering is that there are actually these kind of classes offering locally here where I live. So I'm thinking about taking one of those too, because there are some things that is actually quite hard to learn yourself and you do need a good teacher. And I think that when it comes to a tailored jacket, that is one of those things that I do need help and perhaps can't do it all on my own. So this was my half time report when it comes to my five goals for 2017. I would say I have achieved two. One is uh, a work in progress and two I haven't even started with. But anyways, the year isn't over yet. So hopefully I have made some progress at least on one of the other goals as well. And if you want to follow my progress, please check out my blog, thelaststitch.com. And if you want to support me and my sewing content, I would love you to check out my Patreon page. It's patreon.com, laststitch. And well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.